Hello there gamers, Retro Rob here, and we've had a lot of fun over the last few years poking fun of Famiclones and, you know, the appearance of their boxes. You know, the front of the box and the back of the box. But you know what? Between you and me, we all know that the best Famiclones come from a bag. Oh my, what have I done? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the beginning of the ending, man. It, it doesn't stand up on its own. Also includes two dog bone controllers. If you think I'm being too rough with them, the Chinese post office was much rougher. Yeah, there's an AV cable too. All right, looking at the front of the unit, it has a, B, X, Y, which are probably rapid fire buttons, I'm going to assume. The D-pad is split, which you PlayStation fans will enjoy. It doesn't honestly feel too bad. The buttons have the right amount of spring to them, and the D-pad is not outright horrendous. I'll be darned. Reset and start buttons, they're okay. They're not rubberized though. There's a power light. The speaker was wisely placed in the front of the unit. Looking at the back of the unit, we of course have the battery hatch for AAA batteries. That's unusual too. Very often they use AA's, but in this case they use AAA's. In and of itself, this controller is one of the seven circles of hell. I am going to test it a little bit just to give it a fair chance, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it looks awful. It feels awful. It feels awful and it it feels off. I don't know what they were thinking with with this. With mm, It's like a cut rate uh, brass knuckle. It's a plastic knuckle. It appears to have sensors <laughs> multiple points on its body. And it takes two AAA batteries, meaning all my AAA batteries will be used in this video. Select and start. I will test it, but I'm not expecting anything out of it. All right, looking at the cable, it's about seven feet long. That's pretty nice. Also, these RCA jacks are pretty good. They are not super cheap. I, I can crush them with my fingers if I wanted to, but I'd actually have to try a little bit, which is way better than some that seem to be made out of tin foil. There's reinforcement around the neck here. Yeah, this this is really pretty good. It's not a super cheap cable. Good job. The screen protector was poorly put on, so I'm gonna take that off just for my sanity because there's like some bubbles in it. Oh, did you hear that noise? Man. According to my years of Famiclone research, Famiclones work best when you use four different brands of batteries in them. Good job. You have got to check out the on off button on this thing. It is the volume knob, watch. How freaking cool is that? That is hardcore 70s right there. Great. Hmm. Well, we'll go through what games are on here on the big screen, but we do want to play something. Let's try Galiza. <laughs> so they really just simply misread it or typoed it. Okay. Ooh. All right, the sound's a little rough, but that might be my batteries. I don't think so. I think it's a speaker. Hmm. All right, so at least for this, the controller's working pretty well. The sound is a little bit jacked up though. I don't, here. It sounds really super tinny. Okay. 
get him. Here, I'll let myself get abducted. Oh no, I've been captured. All right, I wanted to have a little bit more fair view of the screen. And it's not too bad. There's this weird white edge around it that you can definitely see really well oops here in the viewfinder i don't know how it'll record but i will say that it's quite pronounced in real life as well so that's not great what is great is the controls they're working really well yeah not bad Sound, however, is outrageous. It sounds really distorted, and that's probably because of the tiny little speaker. It's not the worst I've heard by far, but definitely is not at the top of the heap. It's way better than I thought it was gonna be. Let's plug it in to the screen. And here we are on the main screen of the barf. And as you can see, it's one of those 76,001 carts that are built into this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to flow through all of these, but there is a pretty wide variety of games available on it, which is pretty good. Obviously, they do repeat. Obviously, they have some that are just like the same game on a higher level, but it does appear that there's quite a bit to be played on this system. So that's good. Tekken's totally not Tekken though. Let's look at that. Here we go with some Karatika, or Karatika, as some early YouTubers used to like to call it. I think it's Karatika though. Karatka. Anyway, this is a really good game. It's marked as Tekken. <laughs> I kid you not. Uh, so there's some definite mislabeling going on here. Yeah, at least I'm not facing the bird yet. Oh, I hated that bird. How many of you guys out there have played this? Have you played this? Because the bird. Oh, I hate that bird. It always would show up too fast. You know what? I don't know if that's a problem in this particular version. Because it's a little bit slower than I remember the... Uh, that I remember the Apple II version being. I don't remember how you run. You can run too and get yourself killed in one shot, so beware running in this game. There we go. Come on. I'm just gonna kick this guy's butt. Or get my butt kicked, and we'll go on. Uh, no, you do not. You do not do that. A little bit of a delay. There we go. Punch him out. There was a remake of this, I believe, a while back, and it was pretty good, as I recall. I wonder if I can find that. Might do a live play of that one of these days. All right. Karatika, or Karatika, however you pronounce it. Karatka. All right, here we are with the F1 race test. Hopefully it will pass. All right, I'm gonna let you know something. I already know it doesn't. <laughs> it makes it through the first turn okay, which is cool, you know? It's working just fine here, but once I get around the second, it kind of just breaks apart. Really weird. Yep, here it went. It just reversed controls right around the second turn. So it has failed the F1 test. Bummer. Here we have Atari VQS, which I don't know why it's named that, but it is Space Invaders. And it's just fine. I have no complaints about this particular version of Space Invaders. It seems to play okay. There's probably a few too many invaders <laughs> going horizontally across the screen. That's 
maybe a little bit of a problem, but all in all, it plays just fine. And I'm not going to subject you to any more of this because I already had you watch me play Galaga for a little bit. Just interesting naming, that's all. All right, here we have Painter SQX. I think it's called Brush Roller in reality. And it's an interesting game. It's kind of kicks-like, but has I, Amidar. I think the name of the game was Amidar. I think it's pretty much a one-for-one -one clone of that game. I might have that wrong. Uh, rem oh. Remind me what the game is that I am uh, trying to think of here. Maybe it is Amidar. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's an okay game. I can, uh, wait. There we go. <laughs> Brush roll over them. Hey, Adam, trying to paint the entire level. Get your feet off of there. Man, there's way too much going on. I don't know if this is a later level or this game was originally this hard or just maybe I suck. I used to be really good at kicks, though. And this seems a lot harder than that. Yeah, I'm just getting decimated here. Let's go on. All right, so I've plugged in the dog bone controller. And I'm going to try playing some Dig Dug with it. And... Well... It, it's not terrible. I think I detect a little lag. Uh, it might be the recording screen, though. Come here, Figer. You're dead meat, buddy. Hmm. All right, so playing with it, it is not nearly as bad as I imagined. That doesn't mean it's good, but... You could probably get away with using this controller if you absolutely had to. It's better than, oh shoot, it's better than many Famicom <laughs> or Famiclobe controllers I've used. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's operational. It It's not missing a beat at all. So, you know, all right, fair enough. Let's go on. Here we go with some Sky Destroyer. Um, boy, the controls aren't reversed, which is really messing me up. It is really hard to control a playing game when the controls aren't reversed because I just expect them to be. Oh, that's messed up. See, look at I can drop bombs too. What the heck? I wonder if I played this in an earlier video. I kind of remember this game, but I don't remember the controls being reversed. Huh. Well, I'll be. Hey, wait. Oh, splash down. And here we have some pinball. Don't exit. Don't. And this is a really kind of cool implementation of pinball. This isn't the main screen, by the way. I'm kind of on a little bonus round. Don't exit. Kick it up. Kick it up. Ah, oh, rats. There. There's the main screen, though. But anyway, it's an interesting implementation, especially when you consider things like Alien Crush were still a few years down the road. This is really neat. Not a bad game. And it plays just fine. Hey, perfect game for the dog bone controller. Huh? Yeah. All right, really, one more game. All right, here we have Twin B, which I play every time I do a Famiclone. And it's working okay with this controller. Not awesome, but okay. I will tell you that you do not want to use the external controller with this because it is just really unbearable. Uh, where with this, it works okay. I would say that this D-pad is probably better suited to four-directional games than it is to eight-directional games. 
because it does tend to cut off the corners a bit. And the external control are, oh man, that's almost unbearably bad for this. I've found that I've been able to adapt to it, but it is changing the way I play the game. I'm definitely not playing it as smoothly as I would with many of the D-pads that are out there. All right, let's go on to the verdict. All right, so what's the verdict on the Ending Man Barf Edition? Well, it's not terrible. I think the appearance is really nice on it. The controls work okay, but they're definitely not uh, super high quality controls. They're more adept at doing four directional movement than they are eight. Had a lot of problems with it cutting off corners uh, when I was trying to move diagonally. So that's a big deal. Uh, it does come with a couple spare controllers, which are suitable for small gameplay sessions with a friend. They're not horrible, but they're not great. Uh, the selection of games is quite good, even though a few of them are hacks. And as we have seen, it basically failed every Famiclone test that I've come up with. So that's that's pretty bad. The A and B are reversed, and uh, the the game does not run F1 race right. So that's that's pretty bad. So all in all, it gets a thumbs firmly sideways. Not great, not terrible. Could do worse, could do better. Judge for yourself. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.